Trains and Trees takes center stage in Salem this weekend. That story on today's Daily Buzz. Today's Business Journal Daily Buzz is brought to you by 717 Credit Union. The Birchfield Homestead Society presents their annual fundraiser at two locations in Salem. This is, I think, our fourth or fifth year. We'll give you the details on that and more in our After Hours Report. This Saturday and Sunday in Salem, the Birchfield Homestead Society presents their annual holiday fundraiser, Trains and Trees. Trains are here, of course, at my office, and the trees are at the museum at 867 East 4th Street. The Birchfield Homestead Museum celebrates the life and work of watercolor artist Charles Birchfield. Nearly half of his artwork was made in this Salem dwelling, his childhood home. Inside the home this weekend, you can see several specially decorated Christmas trees, each themed after one of Birchfield's many watercolor paintings. We decided we needed to do something toward the end of the year, and we always kind of had the museum open with things, and then I always set the trains up for just to set them up, so we decided we'll combine the two and uh, call it Trains and Trees. Attorney Fred Narragon is the secretary treasurer of the Birchfield Homestead Society. The display inside his office on East State Street boasts 12 trains alongside a wide range of moving accessories. We have all different kinds of uh, gauges or sizes. Uh, it goes from this biggest size, which is called standard gauge, and it was made until about 1942, and the engine that's on here now was made in 1929 and still running. But then they made what's called O-gauge, which is a lot of this stuff in the middle and up above. And finally, we have the absolute okay. smallest, which is Z-gauge, mm -hmm. and it's on this little table over here. We have Santa, we have skaters, we have sledders. Lionel made some accessories. We have a milk car, a guy that puts the milk out. We have a log loader and a coal loader. Visit the displays at the Birchfield Homestead Museum and the Law Office of Fred Narragon on Saturday and Sunday from 1 to 5 p.m. A $3 donation is requested to view both locations. Children under 10 accompanied by an adult are free. You can learn more about the event and Birchfield by visiting birchfieldhomestead.com. Now here are some other upcoming events to look forward to. On December 4th, the Warren Civic Music Association presents the holiday extravaganza Christmas Wonderland at Packard Music Hall in Warren. The show features holiday favorites like White Christmas, Jingle Bells, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, and more. Doors open at 6.15 p.m. with the show starting at 7. You can learn more and get tickets by visiting warrencivicmusic.com. Also coming up on December 4th at Stamba Auditorium is the annual YSU Carols and Coco and Dana Holiday Concert. The program takes place at 7 p.m. and will feature performances by Dana School of Music vocal and instrumental students. Plus, get a generous helping of cookies and cocoa. To learn more and get your tickets, visit StambaUditorium.com. And opening up today at the Arms Family Museum is the Mahoning Valley Historical Society's annual Memories of Christmas Past exhibit. This year's theme is By the Fireside. Museum hours are Tuesday through Sunday, noon to 4 p.m., with special Twilight Thursday hours from 4 to 7 p.m. You can learn more at MahoningHistory.org. You can also find more information on that event and more by heading to BusinessJournalDaily.com and clicking Entertainment News under the Lifestyle and Entertainment tab. There you can find several stories by entertainment editor Guy Distolfo, like the weekly Entertainment Digest. For even more happenings, you can click on our calendar of events, which is full of things to do in our five-county region. And while you're browsing the Lifestyle and Entertainment tab, you can check out our On the Menu series, our Northeast Ohio Wine Trails page, and a brand new video featuring the Mahoning Valley Fly Cruise trip to Birdfish Brewing Company. As always, don't forget to visit us every Thursday for your After Hours Report. I'm Maggie Young. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, a community-minded partner to help you succeed. Business loans, business checking, and business money market and certificates. Seven Seventeen Credit Union. We're a local business too.